right, guys, when you're getting ready to pack, you want to make sure that you're not just packing everything you own. And not all your jewelry, too. Come on, you're going to the third world. Just pack what you need. Leave the jewelry behind. Make sure you only bring one bag and a carry-on, maybe a backpack, and make it manageable. You're going to be going through a lot of airports, a lot of taxi cabs. Don't be that person. Now you see her? You see how happy she is? She's making God more happy. <laughs> now on a slightly different subject, don't go with the mindset of being some sort of conquistador or Christian crusader. Those times have passed. Instead, make sure that you are, you know, encouraging, praying with them, working alongside the local leaders. Don't bring a gun. Now when you get to your new country, you most likely will experience culture shock. The sights, sounds, smells, language, it's all gonna be different. Don't shut down. That's bad. You went through a lot of training, fundraising, prayer, and support to get there. Bad shutdown. Don't do it. Now the point of the GCT missions are to look after orphans, widows, victims of injustice, and prostitutes. This example could be any one of those. So if you come across someone in need, talk to your team leader and your missionary about possibly using some of your project money to help them. Make sure you can support them with people to pray with them and walk alongside them on their journey in life. Now if you get back to America and you're super stoked that you saved all the orphans, but a wise GCT sage tells you there's still more out there, don't be disheartened. We tried. We tried. There's still more missions. Now if you're minding your mission's business and a witch doctor comes along, remember your trading and get the heck out of there. Only level 3 GCT team leaders with Tron suits and tasers are authorized to take on a witch doctor. Get out of there as fast as possible. Now if you start a fight or a conflict between you, a team member, a local, or someone in the church, we will send someone from America to come scold you. That's bad. Follow the Bible. Make up with the person. Beg for forgiveness. Model Christian compassion, forgiveness, grace, and humility. That's what we're there to do. Now when you get back to America, you will experience reverse culture shock. Don't freak out when you see people with jewelry, talking on their cell phones, dressed immodestly, and don't try to force the old culture back on your new culture back home, lest you be ostracized by general society. Well, ha, I almost forgot. Relationships in the third world. <laughs> don't have them. Make sure you're doing ministry with members of the opposite sex with at least one other person or in public, so, you know, things don't get crazy. Because trust us, missions is romantic. People fall in love. Don't do it. And for all you undercover player missionaries who try to sneak past my purity filter and read some song of songs or romantic things alone with some woman, maybe in some romantic place, in a forest, or under a pink tree, we will find you. But Dagnubbit, if you just go after your free will, and you have one-on-one -on -one Bible studies, and you guys fall in love, and you decide to elope on the mission field, you will have a baby, and it'll be the worst time of your life. And we're going to laugh at you. So remember, pack lightly. Don't bring guns. Only people in Tron jumpsuits can take on witch doctors. And don't be that guy.